Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be filling in the gap that is in between this ball with liquid green stuff. This was one of the main uses for liquid green stuff. It was to fill in small gaps in Warhammer figures, so I guess I'll try it out today with this ball that we printed with our 3D printer. First of all, let's take a look at the ball. This print was printed in two pieces and then stuck together with some glue. We can see here that there is a slight gap that's in between the two pieces that my fingernail can actually fit into. We will be filling this gap in with liquid green stuff. Let's start applying the green stuff. I would do a total of two coats on the ball and then we will spray it down with a coat of acrylic paint to see the results. Now that it is dry, before I spray it down with a coat of acrylic paint, let's take a look at it. We can barely see the gap now. It does look like the liquid green stuff covered it up and filled in that large gap. But there is a little faint line that you can tell, I guess. We'll finish this test with spraying the ball down with a layer of acrylic paint. Let's see, after spraying down the ball with a coat of acrylic paint, it looks like we can barely see that line or that gap that used to be there before we actually filled it in with liquid green stuff. Um, there is a slight faint line that we can still see, I guess, um, but compared to before, I would say it's a lot better now. Um, you can barely see that gap and actually there is no gap there's just a faint layer line that you can see there well there we have it we tried using liquid green stuff to fill in the gaps on our print and it actually works all right i wouldn't say it works perfect as uh, there is still that faint gap in our ball but it works pretty well i would say it did fill in that gap um, to the best of its abilities and there's just a little faint line there now. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching, Tinker Out.